Hello Capricorn, welcome to your Sagittarius full moon reading. Uh, The theme for this particular set of readings was resplendent surrender. It came to me while I was on a walk and it just felt like it filled my, it filled my, my, my whole energy field and just my heart was resonating so much with it. So um, I I felt, you know, this was very much on point Uh, for also just a lot of what other folks have been talking about and thematically speaking, I think surrender is, uh, is, is where it's at. So with all of that being said, Cap, let's dive in. Okay. So I would like to invite the angels, my guardian angels, my spirit guides, protectors, teachers, and their healing energy to this space. And I ask that it is a safe and brave space that allows for the fullest expression of our light, humanity, ascension, and healing. Okay. So this is the journey of love oracle. We're going to start here. Taurus and Virgo, you, if you have other earth in your chart anywhere, um, Taurus and Virgo have had these themes coming through of timelines and time playing really cool tricks, like um, not like card tricks at a party, but just there's something about presence, uh, presence. And um, I what what came to mind was the uh, was I was sitting beside a waterfall the other day when it was pouring and I just I the rain really isn't going to stop me from going on hikes. I am not made of sugar. Um, I would like to think I'm sweet, but you know what I mean? Anyways, that was a piss poor attempt at a joke, (laughs) but regardless, this, this idea of like going for a hike in the rain and then sitting beside the waterfall. And as the water was going somewhere, the, the rain was falling on the water, um, before it went down the waterfall and into this little, I guess, like grotto space. And I was thinking about how water is it seems so sure of itself like it just knows where it's going but there's really just this container to it like there's a container um that directs the flow and water doesn't have any certainty to it water just is and it's just this idea of being and and um water you know i had this thought of like what if water is still what if we are the ones moving in our awareness and because of the ways that we've defined it Um, And, you know, people who are science geeks would be like, oh, my God, that is so antithetical to science. What the F? What I'm talking about is in terms of our awareness and the things that the ways that we've defined the world around us. um, What if we're the ones that are actually in motion? Because water is has always been here. Right. It's always been here. Um, You know, I've said before in, you know, poems and contemplations on when I was, you know, relative to my art that. Uh, all the all the water that's ever existed on the planet still exists. The water you drink is stuff that was around from the time that dinosaurs existed, be it in the form of clouds, vapors, what have you. Like the planet isn't evaporating into space, right? All the water that's ever existed on the planet is still here. So is it in motion or are we, right? Um, is it in motion or are we is what I was referring to there. But this idea of like the water like before the even in motion the water was going somewhere and was sure of itself but the raindrops were falling and causing these ripples and that's what came through for the virgo reading but now i'm really feeling like this sort of resplendent surrender surrendering to this mystery of the fact that like is the world in motion or are we and this also ties into the you know a course in creativity where it's uh the the notion that um that um the notion that we you know, everything around you right now has already happened. Like it's all the past. It's all old news. So with, with that, it's like this container that we're looking to, like, what's our container? What's the container for our awareness? So Capricorn. So gifts received distant shores. So think about what it would be like for the the collective memory of water if there was a way to decode all of the things that are encoded in water i mean it, not in not in terms of like vanity knowledge but just encoding in water like what what does that 444 on the time like what does that mean what what would water tell us from its memory Thank you. 
falling. I feel like it's that surrender, right? It's that surrender. Uh, you know what I'm going to do is what I did for all the other signs, Capricorn, and read one of the cards to you. Um, I, I feel like I want to read falling, to be completely honest with you. It's very abstract, but it just resonates. Falling. Don't worry. You may fear you are falling, but it's just your soul diving deeper into the ocean of bliss. Are you sensing parts of your life flying away from you, out of your control, as the momentum of your divine surrender takes over and becomes more powerful than the old adhesive between you and what no longer serves? Laugh, cry, celebrate, and ponder. Whether it makes sense or not, you are like a perfectly ripe fruit falling from the universal tree, succulent and ready to be enjoyed for all that you are. Well, there's a visual for you. I like that. If you wait any longer, this moment will be lost or you'll, and you'll end up on the ground having to decay and go to seed in order to start the whole process again. Something about water cycles. Interesting. This is not so bad, but what a shame if your sweet nectar was not to be savored by a hungry world. I got goosebumps on that one. Um, <laughs> I'm going to stop commentarying after every sentence. <laughs> I'll keep going. You deserve to be declared the most delicious, juicy fruit that ever was. So fall. You'll end up exactly where you are meant to be. This oracle contains a message for you. You are being called closer into divine union and into the fulfillment of your destiny now. It's safe for you to trust what is happening. Go with it. It might seem like you're being asked to take a leap of faith. It's the right timing for that. It's your time to give yourself in love without holding back anything of yourself. Wow. Capricorn. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that lovely? So I think there's like a little bit of trust and just, it's like that, it's like the consistency of energy, the consistency of energy, because it's the consistency of energy because water has always been here on the planet, right? But we've changed around water. So we've created all of these worlds and meanings and all of this stuff. But like, if water can be that consistent, why can't our joy? If, if water can be that consistent, why can't you know, coming together in love for one another and, and not just like in the sense of like, um, romantic love, but like love of community care, like, you know, ace of pentacles. Hmm. Bloom where you're planted. That's what I'm hearing right now. Where have you planted yourself, Capricorn? Where have you planted yourself? The tower. Ooh, embracing change. Mm, Capricorn. Yeah. Eight of Cups. That's a good release card right there. Oh, Capricorn. This is so nice. Okay. Um, this is beautiful. So, you know, the, how the light gets in. Ten of Pentacles. Are you kidding me? Like, this is a long-term investment for you. This is like, um, not like long-term investment, but this is like something that might take time, but that is worth it. It's a worthy investment. It's worthy of you. Let's put it that way, right? Because the things we always think like, oh, that's worth my time. Is that thing worth you, Capricorn? Is that thing worth you, right? Is it worthy and deserving of you? And I think there's something that's taking seed or taking root right now. Um, so I have this weird um, uh, plant collection uh, in my kitchen where my roommates get to enjoy it all. Uh, no, I'm kidding. There's just like, I have this, this set of plants that keep growing and they keep like going to, um, to root. So then I trim that and then I, that, you know, I transplant the little growth onto another one. And it's almost like I'm getting this image. Like I have some of them here 
right? It's like these little, like they keep, they keep sprouting. I have them in my window in here as well, because there's like, they keep growing, but it's like this, this is what's happening for you, Capricorn. I feel like one idea is leading to another, to another, to another, to another. And there's something very fruitful. Like I'm seeing this expansion, this expansion, but it's starting with this tiny little seed. Like it's starting with this tiny little thing. Um, maybe I'll show you here. I, I don't know. It's show and tell. But this like, so do you see how the plant, like you maybe can't see it, but it just sprouts these little things on the side. And then this becomes, yeah, I don't think you can see it, whatever. That's fine. But it becomes its own whole plant. You just have to nurture it and give it time. So it's like this main thing, this, this energy that you've been working with, or this thing that you've been growing, this project you've been working on, or this like, it could be a crush, could be a relationship. Um, but it's like, it's growing in ways that you can't really anticipate. Oh, one of their leaves fell off. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Um, but it's, it's like something you can't anticipate or expect because it just start it starts here. But I feel like there's this massive growth, massive growth. Yeah. Cause with roots like that, like those are, those are good. Those are nice roots. <laughs> like coming from someone with a bit of a green thumb, like that's, those are, those are, mm, those are good roots for a seed. Right. Mm hmm. And this tower is what we're embracing. So this, there's a change that's happening. I think that you're embracing, you're embracing change on the one hand. Yes. But on the other hand, it's like, I almost feel like you're embracing the ways that this, um, this gives you wings a little bit. Like this is like butterflies that are being dissolved by the lightning. But I almost feel like maybe the lightning is giving them the wings is what I'm interpreting here. The change is giving them the wings. Yeah. And then this, you know, the release is like you're walking away from stuff that doesn't serve you anymore. Because once this, this change happens, once this awareness happens, it's like, oh, I just, I can't go back to that. I can't do that anymore. Cool. Like, it's like, you just can't, right? You just can't. And the 10 of pentacles here is a reminder, I think, that um, what you're doing right now is not just worth your time, right? It's not just worth your time it's worthy of you. Like it, it, it's, it's like, I don't know. This is like legacy energy. This could be the start of something where it's like, it's like there's changes that you're having to make along the way, Capricorn. There's changes you're having to make along the way, but you're doing it in a way that's like you have to, because the call is too loud. The call is too loud, right? And it's almost like this is where it's like that growth comes into play. Like I have three, well, I have four plants in here, but then there's like six in the kitchen and then there's probably going to be another five and I'm going to have to start to give them away, right? Because they just keep sprouting. But it's, you know, so it's like, it, and not a bad thing, but it's like, that's what's happening here, right? And it's like, you have all of these pentacles that you, you can, it's like a legacy of that one original plant, right? You have the legacy of that one plant that, that sprouted all of this. So it's like there's some way that you're leaning into the changes from that um, because there's like a, a recognition of um, there's like a thread tying this to here. And you're like, yeah, yes. OK. And, but you also recognize, too, that the changes that are taking place are giving you wings. A lot of wing um, imagery today in general with the Virgo reading as well. And then um, the course in creativity for this morning. Wing imagery. Ten of Swords. Who else got that? Uh, Virgo. Probably others too. But this is like... Yeah, it's like the ending and new beginning. It's like the death card a little bit. The death card, you know, the minor arcana reflection of the death card is really the four aces and the uh, Ten of Swords. But it's just, I'm seeing this like this beautiful ending. A beautiful ending. A more perfect ending. A more perfect ending. And I will tell you that if you're worried about the tower here, what I enjoy is that the Ten of Swords comes before the tower. So it's not like this. Like it's the energy is, is in a way where you decided to cause the tower, right? This is you causing the tower. It's not something that's like, boo, and like sneaks up on you. Yeah, there you go. 
there's the death card and the page of swords. Mm -hmm. Something about this energy is like you striking out on your own, gathering information. But this is also just messages. This could be downloads coming in about the change. Or this could be exchanges of messages that are part of this tower, that are part of this change happening, right? This could be about work. This could be about friendships. This could be about dynamics in relationships, right? This can be communicating about how you communicate, right? Page of Swords. This could be, you know, if you're in a long-term relationship, this can be conversations that you're having about how things have been going and, you know, what does that mean for us and having meaningful, you know, engagements with your partner so that you can transform situations and, and um, you know, it's, it's like intentionality. A lot of Pluto here though, for sure, with the tower and death. Um, and people are like, oh my gosh, Pluto, it's Plutonic. Plutonic relationships can be really difficult and they're not necessarily healthy for us. True, but that's different from Pluto's energy in general because Pluto's energy is one of transformation. It is what gives you wings, right? That is that is the the caterpillar turning to smush. Like the whole thing is just liquid in a little encasing, right? It it's like it literally loses all of its constitution and comes out in a different form and I feel like it's almost like the heat of the lightning is what transforms that. It's like it bakes you into something different. That sounds weird. Um, okay, spirit. But. What messages do you have for Capricorn spirit for this Ace of Pentacles or Sagittarius full moon? Yeah, Eight of Cups. That's really, I think this is what you're leaving behind is like, I think this is also thinking too small, thinking too small. I think uh, Scorpio had that maybe, but it's like you're, it's not even doubting yourself. It's like thinking too small in terms of like, you don't see how this can sprout to go so much bigger because again, like if I just started with this little plant, okay, you can kind of see it here. Let me do this. If I just started, this is like a month and a half, two months of growth. <laughs> I talk to them every day. They're my babies. But this was like, this is all that I started with, right? Not even this. It was smaller than this. And now I have so much. And it's not to be like, I have a lot. But it's the way that you can't fathom how one plant like this will grow into so much more. And you really can't anticipate that. Um, and it's not why you got the plant in the first place. You got it because you just wanted to have plants. Like I love greenery. I have some up here and then I have some over on a Like it's, it's just, it's home when there's greenery, right? So, but I feel like there's this way that you are, um, that you're looking at this one seed. And I think that you're walking away from, from not just small thinking, but like investing small as well, like small investments that don't honor the 10 of pentacles that you really want. Yeah. That don't honor the 10 of pentacles in your visions for yourself and your life, which are really important. And that's the other thing. If people don't treat our visions or our hopes, like they're all that important, we can get to a place where we like the crescendo, the, the sound, I'm hearing the sound of the waterfall because you can hear it, right? You can hear it for a, a while away. And that's another um, wayfinding tool is listening for traffic or wind or bodies of water or waves or a stream through the trees, because then that will tell you about the direction towards something or, or somewhere. Um, but it's like this wayfinding tool almost that you've sort of tapped into. And I'm hearing waves and like that waterfall sound um, because it's just, it's like, it's like you're letting go, but there's the surrender is, is letting go of playing too small because your dreams are like the, the sound of the waterfall and you can hear them, right? You can hear them. The guy on, uh, who runs the lost lakes YouTube channel, which I love to watch, by the way, I'm such a, it's, oh, I'm such a nerd for it. Um, and it's not Timogami, it's Tamogami. I keep mispronouncing that every time I talk about it on this channel. But it's like he talks about how you do not want to sleep next to a waterfall because you will not sleep, right? You just won't sleep uh, because of the noise. But it's like there's a, a certain rest in that. And it's like you it's like you're you're navigating these kind of potentially choppy waters very differently because you're oriented towards this ten of pentacles, Capricorn. Whatever that means for you, this can just mean like a deeper sense of friendships. This can mean more meaningful friendships or more helpful friendships, not in terms of giving to get, but like 
helpful in the way that um, they're like meaningful. Um, this is also a deepening of commitment with a partner. This can be finding a relationship that that fits the way that you, you know, you can't plan for everything that happens in a relationship. But you can look at someone and say, this person has the things that I, I know I value. And based on how they are living their life right now, they seem to value these things too. And there's also just knowings that you have, right? So it's like the, those things in concert or combination with one another. In conversation with one another. Can you tell me about this tower for Capricorn spirit? Hermit. Yeah, definitely getting your wings. Tower, clarifying the tower. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's like you're thinking too small. And I think that you know this a little bit. Like there's an awareness of this because there's this piece of wisdom where you cause the tower right? You're causing the tower to fall. I almost see this as being like lightning, like Zeus, like you're harnessing this, this power, this raw power that you have. And it's very connected to your heart space. This is your sensitivity is your strength right now, Capricorn. And I feel like that's where this, like you're recognizing that there's something too small, like either you've been playing too small or there's, you know, you're accepting too little from people in your life. Um, or you're just like accepting yourself as, as not being capable of more, like there's like, are you holding yourself to the same standard that you're holding other people to? That's like, I feel like that's, you know, with this energy here too, it's like, what standard are you holding yourself to? And, and that is important. Um, but this tower is just like tower clarified by the tower. Um, so I feel like it's, it's, it's happening, but I don't think it's coming down with a bang. I think it's coming down in more of like you placed the charges in the building to detonate at strategic points so that it doesn't knock down the neighborhood, right? You knew the building had to come down. You knew the building had to come down. And I think that you, you're, you're either bringing it down. This is like recognizing that something has to change, but not waiting until it changes because you're changing yourself. You're changing your circumstances. You're taking ownership, right? You're taking ownership which is amazing. And you can, you know, it's like you can not have answers and be confused, right? You can be like, I'm not sure what to do right now. That's fine. That's one aspect of things. But when you find the answers and then you do nothing, that's where it's like, that's you playing small when you know, but you're just like, well, eh. then what, right? Because it's just this like, Listener, fuck, of, of a situation that can develop and you really you do it's like you do yourself an injustice because then you're outside of integrity right the justice card to me is outside of integrity uh in this particular iteration it's not what it solely means but spirit what messages do you have for my capricorns for this eight of cups please queen of wands magician temperance devil whoa oh but ten of cups okay um i think that you're walking away from situations that have left you feeling like there are things you might have had to hold back on like expressing yourself, like I see this as showing up almost in the reverse here, like this inauthenticity, like it's, it's like, it's inauthenticity because there are certain things like you had to tend to the duties of the queen. You had to tend to all these other things and like you're letting that go and, and you're just like, no, this is my power. This may be power that other people see because it's a throne, but this is my power. And you're reintroducing yourself to the world. Like, let me reintroduce myself, right? That's that energy there, which is beautiful. Um, it's like firm but fair and assertive without being domineering, which is excellent. Um, so like the magician is coming up in that way for you. You could have mercury placements. Um, you know, you could have mercury showing up somewhere in your chart. It could also just be because it's Gemini season, right? Um, but I feel like this temperance and the devil. Yeah. It's like balancing stories you've told yourself about what is possible in your happiness, right? This is like what, what's, what, 
not just what's available because that makes it sound like you're going into a restaurant being like, I'm going to order off that. It's not, I mean, it can be like that, but I think that there's some intentionality that you're bringing because of this sort of shift from just, you know, everyday things like this is the power that people think I have. And this is the power that I actually possess. Very different energies though, right? Very different power, very different powers because the magician encompasses the wands. The magician wields the wands as well. So in this way, even though you might have had specific power, you were not wielding it in a way that honored the magician in you. And the way that you have a magic in you that you need to tap into. I feel like it wasn't honoring that either. So you're leaving that behind. Because I feel like that was a big old pattern that was just keeping you from, um, from what you most wanted. From your happiness. Right? Fulfillment. I think that was the real imbalance here that you're leaving behind. If, you know, the story of this, if you're looking for people, I think that um, it could be that you're dealing in this particular, the things that you're leaving behind you could be, it could be somebody who is um, uh, Gemini, uh, Mercury related, Mercury centric, someone with very loud Mercury. Um, this could also be a Sagittarius and Capricorn in terms of the, the ways that you're changing. The catalyst for that change could have been a Virgo um, or a Scorpio as well. Um, and catalysts don't mean that we can't bring those folks with us, but it's just like the things that we're leaving behind could be energies related to that as well, right? Like Capricorn and 10th house. So career and like paternal, um, fa familial things, uh, patterns or, or ancestral legacies or karmas, karma as well, ancestral legacies, let's say. And then, you know, Sagittarius, uh, and the ninth house, which is Jupiter energy too. So that sense of expansion, like how are we expanding in this energy amidst the release of, of things that no longer serve us because I feel like the ten of cups is here to bookend these major arcana energies saying like this is what's available to you and it's it's not like in this massive shifted thing that it's coming to you it's coming to you in a very grounded way it's coming to you in a very grounded way ace of pentacles and ten of pentacles so spirit can you give me some more messages for Capricorn on this ten of pentacles for this full moon in Sagittarius please okay so let me do this knight of cups seven of wands I feel like this is like you standing in your most authentic, but this beautiful sincerity and you're not afraid to stand up for what you believe in. And we don't have to stand up for what stand up for what you believe in can mean like ready for a fight, <laughs> right? Like it can be like ready, ready to go. It's not like that. This is you standing up for what you truly believe in from a place that is coming from your heart. You don't need weapons because you have a cup. Right. Just people say the pen is mightier than the sword, but in the in the tarot, I feel like the cup is mightier than both. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that that's something that you're coming to understand. Right. Two different energies that you used to approach life with wands of like, this is what I want. This is how I'm going to get it. And, you know, this is like advocating for yourself, but also with a little bit of defensiveness. Right. And this sort of like warring Mars energy. But I feel like now you're showing up in this place of because you're clear right because there's this this understanding and and you know when it comes to going from this like one plant to like the 12 whatever right like one to ten right so going from one to ten you can't always see how it's going to become the 10. You just have to feel the possibility of it. And that happens with a present moment awareness where you're in tune with your intuition, where you're in tune with what you want. And that's part of this falling, right? That's part of this falling. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Capricorns on this seven of wands, please? And thank you. judgment more pluto 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 <laughs> wow because we have scorpio and then we have the tower and judgment all plutonic this is a time of a lot of transformation so just do what you can to take care of yourself as well capricorn like make sure you're resting make sure that you're um you know, I'm hearing electrolytes. Uh, I don't like to use Gatorade for that. Uh, even if it's like a hot day and I, you know, it's like, I just, I feel the heat. Um, I will sometimes have electrolytes, but I take the Vega ones, the little powder that dissolves in water as opposed to, um, as opposed to, um, Gatorade just for the sugar content. So like keeping that in mind because it has like trace minerals. I don't know why this is coming up, but, um, I, I feel like I was when I, I okay. Thank you, spirit. Um, 
I was like smelling minerally earth. And then what came to mind was trace minerals and like selenium and zinc and magnesium and like, you know, too much magnesium can give you an upset stomach. So don't do that. But like, it's like these trace minerals and possibly also these trace nutrients in our lives as well, right? Like these, these trace... I don't know, nutrients that help us survive. But like, what are the tr things that you were thinking were traces that you're now realizing are the entire thing, right? There's some shift in that way as well. And it, it's, it feels like it's somewhat of a departure from the way that you used to operate or the way you were used to operating. I don't know. Because there's like every single, around every turn, there's like a transformative energy here, like Scorpio. So we have the death card, Virgo, right? We have wisdom, but also tower clarifying the tower. And then what you're leaving behind is quite clear cut here. But then it's like more transformation, but like a, a, a more gentle <laughs> transformation as it were compared to um, the tower twice, right? So it's like, um, this could also be something about past lives as well, because judgment does connect to that. Um judgment does connect to that for sure but i think let me just pull the rest of these here but nonetheless this is a transformative time so just take care of yourself capricorn you're precious i don't know i uh, don't know if you knew this but uh it's true it's very true queen of pentacles three of cups yeah uh, I think that this is like, it's like learning to celebrate yourself. That's like, take care of yourself, <laughs> celebrate yourself, self-care, a lot of nurturing. Um, this is also an energy that I think is very helpful to step into in terms of practices that we have to manage our energy, not just through change, but in general, like in general, how are you caring for and tending to this rich inner garden, this rich garden within you? Forgive. Okay. I feel like, <laughs> how are you doing it, Capricorn? And Spirit's like, I have an idea. <laughs> I have I have an idea. <laughs> so, of course, anger can always be justified, but then so can forgiveness. Just depends on how much more you want from the adventure. Mm -hmm. Forgive. And that doesn't mean let people come in and run roughshod over you, right? Like, you can forgive people and put up really good boundaries because you are honoring you. You glow, we beam. <laughs> I'll read the back to you. <laughs> In case anyone should ask, your heart isn't so large because of your wings. It's your wings that are so large because of your heart. Sometimes loving so much can be pretty heavy. Yeah. I think that's the release part too, is like when, when you love that deeply, when you love life that deeply, when you love people that deeply, sometimes it can make things really challenging to leave behind. Not because we're like removing ourselves from places or spaces or anything like that, but really just more so because we're stepping into this, um, we're stepping into an energy of um, peace, right? And, and sometimes we just can't take certain things with us. We can't take certain things with us and that's okay. It is okay. You glow, we beam. That's beautiful. I, th I feel like you do have a lot of guides around you and angelic protectors for sure. The wings have been coming up like nonstop and then getting your wings as well on that one. Like the tower is giving you wings. Um, there is always a solution of the highest good yeah some optimism there cause for hope when in doubt I play it out this could be about sort of um, acting as if a little bit, um, acting as if, but also um, playing it out just meaning like, are you dreaming big enough? Are you thinking big enough? Right? Not everything has to become the Ten of Pentacles, but like, do you want something to become the Ten of Pentacles? And if so, are you honoring that? How are you honoring that? Right? Right? Are you stepping into that and allowing that to just be? Because sometimes just giving ourselves permission to dream big and to want big 
we have to do that too, right? And it, it can be this dance that we end up doing, right? It can be this little dance that we get into with the universe. Where we're like, okay, I won't ask for this much. And then the universe is like, no, 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 ask for more. Go, do it, do it, do it, do it. I dare you, <laughs> right? Like, and then we do, and then we're like, whoa, this feels uncomfortable. So it's just like, allow yourself to acclimate to that, right? Um, I'm thinking about containers and water and how water is like a container for things, right? And it's like, allow yourself to just be a container, right? Allow yourself to be the container or the water, whichever one feels more suitable for where you are. But the thing that I'm saying here is don't let yourself be limited by the container because water um, expands like you you can put more water in a bigger container, right? So be the, the water consciousness as opposed to the container consciousness when it comes to your good. So... Capricorn, that was your reading for the Sagittarius full moon. Uh, if this resonated, please like and subscribe. I'd love to have you on the channel. And uh, I'm really grateful for you watching and being here. So thank you so much. And for those who are part of the channel um, and who have subscribed, I so very much appreciate you. So thank you for that. Um, and um, yeah, so from here, there are other ways you can connect. But if this is where we part, Capricorn, I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day ahead. Take care, my darlings.